Hello everyone, I'm going to have a look at a few incidents here in the same video. So the first one we're going to look at, this video here and the photo I will put on afterwards, shows smoke over the Russian city of Tuapsa. This is the aftermath of an attack by two drones, likely two 141 drones again, on the Rosneft oil depot. This facility is over 430 kilometers from the border. Here's a Google Maps image of the depot, so it's a fairly substantial site. This was targeted early morning of the 28th. Now this is the first time Tuapsa has been targeted, so it being an unfamiliar place, let's check where it is. So this is near the Black Sea, and this must be a bit worrisome for Russia. It's beyond the port of Novo Rusisk, where some of the Black Sea fleet are, and beyond Sevastopol, again, home to the Black Sea fleet, and also beyond the Crimean Bridge. What damage a 2141 drone would do to a ship, or the bridge, I'm not sure, but I'm sure they'll pack enough of a punch to put a submarine out of action. So that's definitely an area to keep an eye on, and would definitely be a valuable target. Not to mention how far the drone penetrated before hitting its target. Additionally, also early morning of the 28th, an unknown object came down in the region of Aegea. These photos are on screen now. This engine has been identified as being the engine of a KH-55 missile which failed to reach its target, the KH-55 launched by Russia. Furthermore, and this is very interesting, all flights to St. Petersburg have been diverted after reports an unknown aircraft penetrated the airspace. Now we don't know what this is, but Russian Air Force jets were scrambled. Russia has since said it was, quote, for air defence training. But surely, air defence training would be arranged ahead of time with flights rerouted prior. It seems that something has happened. Additionally, flights into Murmansk are also being rerouted. Unfortunately, details here are lacking, so I will do an update if we get anything more interesting. Now, I'm going to cover the other incident from late last night on the 27th. This was scheduled to be a video on its own, but given the newer drone attack, I've just decided to combine them into one. Hello everyone, a short video here looking at last night's attempted drone attack on Belgrade. The video playing now shows one of the drones flying over the city. Now there were three drones and none of them reached the target, all crashed. Eyewitnesses say crashed, not intercepted. Now I'm not sure what type of drone this is, it isn't the 2141 that we often see used, and it isn't the Mugen drone which we've seen used either, I don't think. But, and this is quite interesting, these were armed. These images here show that the drones are carrying British L22A1 PE8 demolition chargers, which are RDX based. From what I can tell, these were designed for general demolition and for explosive ordnance disposal clearing tasks. Each slab weighs 2 kilograms, which themselves contain four 500 gram blocks. Belgorod is close to the border, just over 30 kilometers, which I guess is why the 2141 drone wasn't used. Again, I'm not sure what these drones were. The target has been reported to possibly be an electrical substation. At least that's what some Twitter reports say these were generally flying towards. Whether that was the flying destination, or they were going to be flying further afield and the substation was just, you know, on the route, I'm not sure. Now the reports say that they crashed, not intercepted, but there were no other details. It could be that jammers placed around Belgorod worked, or that the drones collided with trees or power cables or other low-lying obstacles before they could reach the destination. So, unfortunately... Not too many details available now, I will do an update if we get any of course. If you found the video interesting, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.